What's up everybody, welcome back. I'm Abe, this is Eve Online, and it's been a little bit, so thank you very much for your patience. I am dealing with now a six week old baby, which is pure chaos, and he does what he wants when he wants, and never what you want when he when you want. So, yeah, so that's what we're dealing with. So, in the short time that I had this evening, I figured I would set myself up for running some combat sites. I just do a little bit of exploration in high sec, find some stuff, run combat sites and see what happened. Um, I I was running, I think it was a tier three gamma site in my Gila and got a couple bad spawns and lost my Gila. It's not the end of the world. It wasn't one of those like four billion isk fits, but um, it set me back a little bit. And so before I jump back into filaments I figured I'd go try some other PVE stuff and so I looked on Eve University's website and found a fit that I've tweaked a little bit for running combat sites I am let's see so I'm I'm in I like Minmatar ships I like the projectile weapons I'm not skilled into tech 2 guns so I'm only using the the meta 4 version uh, which provides I think the same damage output and let's see so I've got a rupture and I recently just got some of these let's see that boy isn't that wild some of these skins from the holiday event so I'm gonna use that one because I think that looks nice nice and shiny and uh, so yeah so I'm going with auto cannons I've got a little probe launcher there I've got an afterburner shield extender Right now I've got two adaptive and vulnerability field uh, uh, tech 2s for kind of an, uh, a smattering of defense across here. And then I've got a couple shield power relays and uh, field purgers, so that's going to be passive shield regeneration that we're shooting for there. And uh, you know a couple gyro stabilizers and a tracking enhancer so I can attack you know destroyers and uh, frigates without too much trouble. I've got some light drones to help out with the frigates and then I, I've collected in here all of the various um, I don't know resistance modifiers for shields and to set me set myself up for for what I might come up against now this implies that I don't know what I'm gonna come up against but we can look and we can uh, figure out what that is so let me click over here and so we just go over to Dotlan and type in the air area of space that we're in Right now, I am I'm missing a letter. I'm in Satuban, and it shows that I'm in Kaldari space here. And if I click through, local pirates are Garistas. So if I go back to the game, and I think I've got this in my bio. Let's move her over here. Oh, somebody just skilled up. All right, Garista. So they do kinetic and thermal and I should be doing kinetic. All right, so if that's the case, then most of the pirate sites that I find around me are going to do kinetic and thermal. Although I may find some drone, uh, where are they? Uh, I don't have the drones on here. I think I need to do, uh, here we are, rogue drones. Uh, level 1 and 2, EM and Thermal, and level 3 and 4 do Explosive and Kinetic. Alright, so we'll keep that in mind. So, But basically, I think I'm going to be coming up against Garista Pirates all, all the time. So what I can do is I can swap out for, uh, what was it, Kinetic and Thermal? Where was it? Yep, Kinetic and Thermal. Alright, so we can do, right now it's... 69.59 and if we swap it for direct resistance uh, let's just remove those kinetic and thermal it's a little bit better so it's worth doing and yeah and so we should we should equip our own kinetic ammunition which uh, if I look over here I think I've got uh, where is it nope that's EMP Let's look in here. Carbonized lead. Well, let's just stack them here. We'll make. We'll just grab 2,500 out of there. So that'll be kinetic, and that leaves us with 
Oh, I need to exit the simulation here. So let's just drop this here and here. 2,500, a full round is 500. So maybe I need a little bit more ammo than, than I've given myself. Kinetic and thermal. I'll bring these with me. It's not enough money that if I lose it that it's a, a big heartbreak. But uh, let's see. Carbonized lead. Let's give ourselves another 2,500 of those. And let's also grab thermal. Just where is it? Here we go. We'll grab 5,000 thermal. And yeah. So now we're set up for what we think we're going to come across. We're going to scan down. I don't have very good scanning skills on this character. So it's mostly just going to be some of the easy stuff. And hopefully because I'm in the high sec, I don't need to worry too much about my scanning skills. But, uh, but this is where I'm set up right now. So I'll have the ability to switch between resistances if I feel like I need to in the middle of a, a, a site. Right now, my DPS isn't stellar uh, let's simulate this and right now I want to say carbonized lead and phased plasma do different or different like have different stats so I've got 185.3 plus yeah the, the standard there let's just remove the charge remove the charge 185.3 so that really only adds 100 DPS. 324.7, right? So the range is 17 kilometers versus 20 uh, Let's see. I did that wrong. Optimal range is 1.5 with a fall off of 17 versus 5 kilometers with a fall off of 20. So really I'm going to get a lot more damage out of the phase plasma and maybe I shouldn't really even consider bringing carbonized lead, but um, it's either that or I add, where is it? It's not carbonized lead, it is proton. Yeah, let's, let's examine that. So again, that drops our DPS way down. But because it's auto cannons, I don't buy much in the way of uh, range, right? So 1,500 to 5,000 meter range difference in optimal is is basically nothing so I think really what I want to do is just go with phase plasma that's what I'm learning here and yeah let's exit the simulation let's instead they're already fitted yet yeah. all right let's unload that it just doesn't do enough damage to I think make it make up for the difference there we go. All right, so I think we're ready. So kinetic and thermal, and we've got our you know rather paltry passive shield regeneration, and now we can set out and go try to find uh, and scan down some some sites. So I'll do that in the next video, but right now this is what we're working with, and. Yeah, I don't know, give me something a little bit low-key to, to try to do in high sec while other things are going on elsewhere in EVE. And hopefully it's not too time-consuming because sometimes I only have like 20 or 30 minutes between crying baby stints and you got to make the best of your time. So at any rate, I hope you had a happy new year and happy holidays, whichever one you celebrate. And if uh, the American New Year or the Western New Year isn't your thing, then Chinese New Year is coming up and... Uh, happy Chinese New Year to you as well. So hope you're doing well and I will catch you in the next video.